Today's video is gonna be a change of pace. What we're gonna do, instead of working on the cod tank, is we're gonna take some of my favorite cod lures and we're gonna do a bit of a fishing. We'll take some surface maybe. Goodoo gang, rattlesnake from Mud Eye, Joe the Rat. We've got jackals, we've got everything here. The lures are literally all over the place. Got a box of lures that were the first ones I made and they're all shit. Actually sucked in. We're in lockdown again, so for something different, we'll actually be doing what the title of the video says and we'll be working on the cod tank. <laughs> I have done a little bit off screen. Uh, since the last video, nothing major. I was working on the lights as you've seen, so I'll give you a rundown of how I've gone with that. I've put a little heater in the background, and um, yeah, I've put a bit of water to get the, to, for the driftwood in there to absorb a bit of the moisture, so that way they uh, float, actually, <laughs> so that way they sink. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna get the water, we're gonna fill the water up, start the pump running, the filter, and we'll get the lights working, and uh, hopefully it looks good. Okay, so this is part of the light that I'm designing for the fish tank. Um, I bought some aluminium C-section from Bunnings, uh, and then I've just knocked up these on Tinkercad. So the fish tank's wide enough that it needs two of the sections. So this is a little bit of a joiner that I've printed out, will design to print out. The C-section will fit into this part here on each side. The cables will run through there and come out underneath. And that is where the, it'll mount to the tank, just sit on the glass for the tank. So next step is to make this uh, on the 3D printer. This program is Tinkercad. So it's just a free online CAD designing software that you can use. Once you've got your design, you just export it as an STL file, which is what the 3D printer reads. To join the fish tank light together, we use this little 3D printed joiner, two pieces of aluminium C-section and just JB Weld, and just simply glue it together. Just It's basically a two-part epoxy that works really, really well on steel and aluminium and pretty much any surface. So let's join this together and give it a chance to set. So this is the underside of the lights. Um, we've just got the LED strip fits perfectly in the center there. Pretty cool. Well, there's a finished product of the light bar that I made myself. So that's one of the ends. I've just given it a quick coat of paint. This is a bit of a test model, so I'll see what the height's like, see what the light dispersion's like, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, work on it as we need to. I did change the design a little bit, and I curved the ends, shortened one of the legs, the mounting legs, so that it straddles the glass, just in case you hit the light bar, you don't want it to smash the side out of the tank. Anyway, matte coated in rattle can matte black for that classy look. The other one has a channel for the cable to run through it, so it you know, looks a little bit neater. I will print a little shroud just to cover the cables. Uh, I like having them hidden so it all looks neat. Can't come this far and then uh, stop now. And I really enjoy using my 3D printer, so that'll give me another reason. Also installed is a 300 watt heater. A 300 watt heater is a big enough heater to you know take care of this tank, absolutely no problems at all. Um, I've gone with this one, yeah, just to give me a little bit of room, just in case I need to change the temperature, but I ultimately run it on its lowest temperature, which is 16 degrees. So around here in summer, it'll rarely come on. Uh, over winter, it'll just keep the tank warm enough for it to be active, but they don't mind the cold. It would probably survive, especially inside, um, with absolutely no heater at all. But I do like to keep it at, a, at that lower 16 degrees. The filter is also all plumbed. So I'm about to fill this tank up with some water. That way I can get the filter running, make sure that all works, and make sure we've got no leaks. If it leaks, I guess it's gonna be really awkward. Um, hopefully this driftwood will be saturated enough that it'll sink. If not, that'll be flown around in the tank. And we'll give the lights a run just to, yeah, see what it looks like. I thought I'd better get the filter ready. So I'm just gonna unbag this stuff and chuck it in there. They are labelled one, two, three. I just worked out that this is a tap. So when I lift this up to pull the inlet and outlet hoses, it actually shuts it off. So I can just take the filter away. Sick. Now I do realize this would be much easier with a hose from just out that door there. 
but I'd have enough on the time lapse. Hopefully this looks sick and my video will be a little bit longer. So I could have just uh, encountered my first rookie mistake of this series. Just noticed that the water level is not, you know, not perfect. So I'd say this stand that I paid 130 bucks for mustn't be level. So I don't know, maybe I'll leave it at this and just see, hopefully it doesn't crack or anything like that. But I'll just see what happens overnight. I'll finish off this video. Um, and yeah, then I might drain it out and sort that out because it will do my head in if it stays unlevel. Bit disappointing, but anyway. Does anyone else have a split system in your house? They seem to have two uh, settings, which is melt your face off or freeze. Realistically, they are shit. So we just use the suction method. The water flowing into the canister now. And it should hopefully come out here anytime soon when she's ready to go. Sounds like it's coming. There you go, bit of a trickle. Might give it a bit more of a suction. There she is, running there for the first time. I will fill it up a little bit more. It looks like the tank has sort of settled on the foam. No, it hasn't. It's still crooked. I did add a water ager into the tap water as I put it in. That just gets rid of any of the hard metals. So apart from a piece of wood that's annoyingly floating around in the tank, it's uh, coming together quite well. We've got the filter running, purring away quite quietly there. I've got the bubbler on. I had to pull a bit of driftwood out because it was floating just so I could give you a bit of a look at the tank. Um, one cool part about the tank is the lights are voice controlled. Hey Siri, turn on the COD tank lights. There we go. It looks sweet. You can control individual sections of the tank, so you can kind of change it whatever color you want. So it's uh, pretty sweet. You can just go to a white tank if you wanted it to go to white. Um, you've got all sorts of different themes. Um, you know, they can just run whatever color you like, so it looks pretty cool. Um, I might just chuck on a bit of a animation while I talk about what the next steps are with this project. So I do have a bit more aquascaping to do. Um, yeah, a few more rocks I'm gonna add in there. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna give him any more structure. This end here was designed to be the darker end. Um, so, you know, that way I imagine he'll hide here. I am gonna blank out that part of the cabinet so it doesn't let any light in from the kitchen. But, you know, we'll see how we go. Just kind of make this stuff up as I go along. As I've been talking here, I'm uh, just playing along with the lights. Seeing what they can do. Come up with the scheme. Also, you know, might even consider putting lighting towards the back of the tank as well. Not sure how any of that looks on camera. Kind of cool. The colours are way more pronounced on the camera than what they are, you know, in the actual tank itself. It's very sort of dim and it fades, you know, it blends quite well on the tank. Anyway, that's great. Shit hot. Bye. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to take some of my favourite surface lures. Is there a filter on this thing that can make me look any better? Something a bit different for today's video. We are going to take some of my This camera won't turn itself around. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of my sur... Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna take some of my favorite surface lures and we're gonna do a bit of cod fishing. Why do I keep looking at myself? Look at the camera.